Hi there, this is Ewan from protopic.co.uk. I'm here with the Up Mini 2 3D printer. It just arrived, so let's have a look at what's in the box. First up, you've got the tool kit, which comprises of the gloves, scraper, snips, and you've also got some Allen keys here, along with the tube for the filament. You get a full colour quick start guide, which is a nice glossy paper. A little calibration card, which is a little cheat sheet, showing you how to set up the, the bed height and whatnot. You get three spare beds, a USB cable, a UK plug and adapter. You get two samples of PLA filament. In this box it was white and green. And you get an ABS Plus sample as well, which came in red. You get the extrusion head, which is 3D printed. It's got a nice fan in it and connector to hook it up to the printer. You also get this external filament holder, which holds a reel. It comes preloaded with a 500 gram reel of ABS. And you also get a nice little tray for keeping your tools in. Next up, you have the printer. You've got a full color LCD touchscreen in here, which we'll show you in a little while. And it also comes with built-in Wi-Fi. If you open up the front door, you can see the build platform here, and underneath there's a HEPA filter, so if you don't like the smell of ABS, then this is a printer for you. At the back, there's also another door, so you can gain access to the back or the front of the workpiece. And up the top, you've got a nice aluminium handle, so you want to take it around to your friend to show him you can do. Okay, so now we've got the printer set up. This is it here, printing off a test print. Um, I'm printing it a GNOME in low quality setting, lowest and fastest it can go, and it says it'll take uh, 32 minutes. It's now 22% through, it's got a real time status bar, it tells you that it's hot, that we're connected to Wi Fi, how many grams of filament we've got left, and the temperature is at 100% and the 58% I'm not sure what that means because I haven't read the manual properly yet. If you want to see inside it you can press this button on the side. Okay, that's it finished, so let's open it up and um, move that out of the way. So, this just slides out. Like that. There we have it, one gnome. And that was in the lowest quality setting, the this our highest. Time and a low quality now. Okay, I'm not sure how well this will show up in the video, but this here is a low quality print that took about 30 minutes to print. It definitely feels rough. You can feel the the layers, and it was done at 0.35 millimeters. This one here. It's a high quality print, it took about three hours to do, and it's much, much smoother, and it took about three hours. So three hours for a high quality gnome, half an hour for a low quality gnome. What I'll do is I'll stick up a couple of pictures, um, see if I can get a good photo uh, for the video, make it look a bit better, so you can get an idea of the different quality of print. So what do I think of the printer overall? Well. It's fast to set up, um, I was up and running in less than half an hour.
printed off. Um, auto calibration seems to work brilliantly for the, the auto bed leveling. Um, the Wi Fi is good, it means I don't have to have it next to my computer, it just runs. Um, all in all, good little printer, excellent price. So, yeah, I highly recommend when you're looking for a, a good entry level, easy to use, no nonsense um, ABS or PLA filament printer. Thanks.